Well, wouldn't it be awesome if you could quit your job and travel the world? Today, one of the youngest people ever to visit every country in the world joins us. Just back from his 193rd and final country, Sal Lavallo shares some of his best advice for traveling the globe. Good morning to you, Sal. Good morning. How are you? You're a globe-trotting dude. That's what I'd say. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, definitely. <laughs> what was your last country? What was one, number 193? So I finished a couple weeks ago in Malta, a small island in the Mediterranean, and it was really perfect because I brought my parents there and we had some friends come and celebrate with me. And, you know, it was a really wonderful place to end. And this has been a phenomenal journey, and I'm just so happy. Good for you. And you're only 27 years old, right? Yeah, it's, I'm quite young, but it's been a quite a long process. I mean, I've been traveling for 10 or more years, and it's been, you know, 15 or 20 countries a year, mostly for work or for school. And so it's been a, you know, it hasn't been a whirlwind really. It's, it's been a slow burn. Good for you. How'd you make it happen? How did you visit 193, all 193 countries? So I'm lucky because a lot of it was organic to my lifestyle because I was traveling for school or for work. I've also been living in the Middle East in Abu Dhabi for the past six years, so it's really centrally located. And because I was traveling so much for work and I was staying at hotels so often, I'd get a lot of points, which meant that in my own personal life, I could go back to these SPG and Marriott rewards, participating hotels and stay there for free and get upgrades. And it makes it kind of a much more comfortable and a cheaper trip. Oh, for sure. And in terms of that, what yeah. advice do you have for people, um, whether they're traveling abroad or maybe even domestically? So I always say, look at what you're passionate about. Travel shouldn't be exhausting. Travel shouldn't be about doing things you don't want to. It should be purely about having fun and enjoying and learning a lot. So if you're interested in food, you know, I'd say go to Brazil or go to France and eat the food there. If you want beaches, go to the Caribbean or go to the Pacific. If you want history, you know, go to Europe or North Africa. But really pick what you want. For me, it was about learning about different people and the economies and comparing them, which is why I was interested in going to so many, but you don't have to. Then in terms of like timeline and budget, you know, look at where you can go with the amount of vacation that you have and with the level of, of money you're able to spend on the trip. And then use things like the travel hacks, like being loyal to a program like SPG and Marriott Rewards. Use your credit card all throughout the year. You'll build up enough points, maybe get a free flight, definitely be able to stay at the hotel. And then you'll have, you know, really subsidize your trip just by spending throughout the year. Yeah, I think it's so. it seems very smart, very wise, especially if you're doing a lot of traveling, to be part of a loyalty program. What do you see as being the benefits? I think for me, the, because I'm traveling so much, being part of a loyalty program for hotels, I'm always with SPG and Marriott. For flights, I'm often with United or with Etihad. But it's always kind of, you feel at home, even if it's a completely new place. I've stayed in 65 SPG and Marriott hotels in 40 different countries. And in each of them, you know, they always say, you know, thank you for your loyalty. And they give you the same amenities. And there's, it, you know, there's a... Uh, it gives kind of a consistency across all these countries, and that makes you, you know, feel much more comfortable and calm and ready to explore. Absolutely. And where can people go for more information to find out more about those programs? So I love to share my stories every day on Instagram at Salavalo. I also have a website, salavalo.com. And for the programs, it's spg.com and marriott.com. So lots of websites, but lots of cool things to learn about. Wonderful. Congratulations to you. What's next after traveling the world? I'm not sure. I think it'll be something great, maybe a little bit more travel, but I think I want to settle down, maybe get a job and a girlfriend or a dog or something and just, you know, <laughs> be normal, normal guy again. <laughs> I love that. A girlfriend or a dog. That's fantastic. So or wonderful. Maybe, maybe both. <laughs> maybe both. You can we'll do see. both. There's room, I would think. It was so nice to talk to you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Absolutely.